Construction is underway on the first of three segments to widen one of the most heavily traveled and congested areas in Hampton Roads, Interstate 64 on the peninsula. We are fast tracking the project which has been identified, as you know, as one of the region's top, top priorities. To increase vehicle capacity on the first 5.6 mile corridor in Newport News, one travel lane and one shoulder lane will be added in each direction, widening I-64 from a four lane roadway to six lanes. We've got four lanes open in each direction on the eastern end of 64 near the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel uh, going up to Jefferson Avenue and then we restrict it back down to two lanes as we head west. So what this project is doing is we're taking it from four lanes instead of down to two, we're bringing it to three lanes. So we will have three lanes now in each direction for this 5.6 mile segment between the um, Jefferson Avenue exit and the Yorktown Road exit. Additional lanes will ease congestion and reduce delays. A better driving experience that many Hampton Roads drivers are looking forward to. But I'm just excited for how they're making the interstate, they're, they're broadening the ways for us um, in both directions because it's going to make each route, you know, easier because like sometimes accidents happen, different things happen, like you're stuck in traffic for hours, you know, and a lot of people have jobs, a lot of people have families, different things they have to do. I think that broadening the way is easier. To deliver these benefits as soon as possible, design build partner Shirley Contracting will construct the project while design is still underway, greatly reducing the overall time necessary for completion of the project. They will begin construction and they will just gradually be working on the shoulders and then they'll work towards the median area eventually to have the lanes open in September 2017 with their construction complete December 2017. To minimize inconvenience to motorists, lane closures will occur primarily overnight. And we will be maintaining two lanes open in each direction during the daylight hours continually and we will allow lane closures only in the evenings from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. weekly. And so that's how we're going to work to minimize traffic impacts. Motorists can help contribute to the project's progress and safety by slowing down and using caution when driving through work zones. To help plan your commute, VDOT's free 511 traffic tools provide real-time traffic and travel information, road conditions, and work zone locations. The barrels have to go up, you know. So you speed down, you have to watch out for the other guy because they're going to be jockeying around trying to get in front of you and so forth. So, yeah, we'll slow things down. For the 100,000 motorists traveling this corridor each day, this $122 million project will result in improved safety, reduced congestion and delays, and better access for emergency evacuation. It may cost Hampton Roads a lot of money as far as uh, you know having to dig into the budget, but when we know that it was well worth the project or well worth doing this is when it's all said and done. VDOT, we keep Virginia moving.